My name is Terence. I'm the CEO of Emergenetics Asia Pacific. Uh, we are a global people and organization development company. We are a small team of people, uh, 15 of us, uh, based here in Singapore. Some of the team members will have to travel to different parts of uh, Asia Pacific. This usually means time away from family. Uh, or time away from your own personal pursuits. Uh, so as a company, we pay very uh, careful attention to ensure that every individual's uh, needs are, are taken care of. Uh, and we do this through creative HR policies. So one of the initiatives that we have in the company is the Compressed Work Week. Uh, so what this means is an employee uh, has an option to decide how you want to compress all your work that is done within a week uh, to a shorter time, right, as opposed to having to come to office uh, regularly from like, you know, 8 to 6. Uh, the, the other creative initiative that I can talk about uh, is the way that we look at uh, our leave, right, our leave scheme. Uh, so to give an example would be something called um, social leave. Uh, so how the social leave uh, came about really is because when we looked at the, um, the standard practice, uh, there's always childcare leave for uh, married uh, uh, employees, right? Because if they have married employees who have kids, if the child is sick, they can take uh, child sick leave or child care leave. Uh, but there's nothing of that, uh, an equivalent for somebody who is single. And so as a company, we decided that we should have also something called social leave. So this is really to encourage uh, singles within the company to take leave, go out and have fun, uh, socialize, and hopefully, uh, you know, it, it promotes uh, uh, personal well-being in other ways, right? So these are just some examples of how we create work-life harmony within the company. So when we first uh, found out about the tripartite standards on uh, flexible work arrangements, uh, we thought it was a good opportunity for us to do an internal review of our work-life uh, harmony strategies. Um, and at the same time, we were in the midst of uh, doing our own employee satisfaction survey. Um, so when we did our review, we were happy that a lot of our strategies and practices uh, that we have put in place uh, were not only aligned with uh, the tripartite standards that we have adopted, uh, but they've also given us really good scores uh, in terms of our employee engagement. We scored something like uh, 80%. Uh, in terms of the retention, uh, we have 50% of our employees who stayed with us more than five years, and that's pretty uh, nice number for an SME. Uh, when we first started uh, the company, we, uh, one of the things that we wanted to get right uh, is our people strategy. So how do we uh, design a HR system or HR policies uh, that makes sense for us as an SME, um, but at the same time it's uh, uh, you know pro people uh, in terms of helping them achieve a work-life strategy. So we looked at uh, you know best practices around the world, uh, including Tafet for example, uh, just to ensure that we are benchmarking ourselves uh, according to you know some of the national standards or international standards. So by um, you know building a, a strong culture that promotes a lot of trust. Uh, we are able to be very flexible uh, in the way that we work. And I think this is pretty much the way that companies are moving towards uh, when we talk about workplace of the future. And we always, always, always believe that uh, if we practice uh, what we preach, right, which is uh, we value people, uh, by really uh, demonstrating to our employees through our HR policies uh, and leadership by example that we really uh, value the contribution as well as uh, the individuals themselves. So in reflection, uh, I think our work-life harmony strategies have worked for us. Uh, we were able to attract and uh, retain talent. Um, and uh, this also brings to mind a principle that uh, you know, one of my partners wrote in her book. Um, and that is, care for your people and the profits will come.